Hello, this is Professor Scott Norman, and today I am not at Pittsburgh State University, but I'm at our family farm in Missouri, and today we're going to do a lesson on fuel. And so let's take a look at some fuel containers and let's see how we are storing fuel on the farm. So as I'm getting fuel for the four-wheeler or the tractor or the lawnmower or whatever, this is what I have to look at. Um, looks like uh, three of the containers have lids on them. Two of the containers has a coffee can on it. This one here has nothing on it whatsoever. So, and they're outside. And the good news is, is this is on the north side of the, the house. And so the sun doesn't normally hit this area, but, but at least um, uh, the rain will. So the question I have for us is that I'm concerned about these two right here. So these guys right here that don't have any any um, any uh, any type of stopper on her because uh, gasoline is going to start evaporating right away. Now, knowing my um, dad who got this fuel, um, I do know that there's uh, gasoline in some of these and diesel fuel in some of these, and so there's no obviously markings on them, and so I, I feel like I'm playing Russian roulette every time I um, grab a jug and uh, determine uh, what fuel goes what. I'm sure he has a system. But of course, I don't know what it is. So, so let's try to figure out which fuel is which. And so I'm going to start with this one right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip a little bit of it out. And I'm going to put it on my finger is what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to feel. I'm just going to feel it. And what I feel is that it's all of a sudden it's really cold. And it's evaporating really fast. And when I uh, feel it, it, it feels dry. And in fact, it's almost evaporated off of my skin. And so, And so this one right here. Is gasoline. I don't have to, you know, pour it on the ground and light it or anything like that. I'm pretty confident that that one there is gasoline. So what we need to do with this one is get a, a type of stopper, maybe a cork or something in there to put that in there because um, as we speak, the gasoline vapors are evaporating. All the light ends are coming off, and so so we need to have this one plugged in right away. We don't want to have that one out. Okay, this coffee can is just keeping the rain out, I guess. This guy right here, on the other hand, let's take a look at this. And I'm going to tip it up and put my finger in it, and, you know, and just get a little bit in my hand. It's fairly full. There it goes. And, okay, and so you can see how shiny it is. And when I feel it, it feels, um, it feels slippery. And it is not evaporating. You know, it, it kind of feels like, oh, I'm going to put it to my finger and smell it. And you can smell it, and it smells diesel fuel. And so this guy right here is diesel fuel. And so with this guy right here, we want to definitely put <laughs> her do that. We'll put that in there because because we don't want any type of water in there. I still want to, I still want to cork in that. But um, I, the diesel fuel is not going to evaporate. But I'm worried about moisture getting in there. So so that's something I want to do. And so so it's good that we have these uh, gasolines outside. The rest of them, I'm pretty sure they're gasoline. I haven't checked yet, but I'm pretty confident it is. Uh, so 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 we don't want to store gasoline inside so we do want to store it outside but we want to make sure that it's uh, properly stored um, make sure that it's not in the sun make sure that it's sealed so all the light ends of the of the gasoline is not evaporating and so we're going to try to find some corks on these on both these guys right here but that's the way that you tell uh, if you have diesel fuel in this one because again my hands are still slippery you know you can still see the, the residue on them, you know, it's not coming out. I'm gonna have to wipe my hands off with a towel in order to get that off where the gasoline just, just evaporates off of my hands. And this one right here is gasoline. So now I know. Again, this is Scott Norman. And if you're looking for more videos, uh, you could follow my Professor Pintain channel on YouTube, or you could look for me on Facebook. Just look for Professor Pintain. Thank you very much.